The reign of Elizabeth II has undergone many changes. Charles III now takes over a country very different from that of his mother in 1952. Britain has become much more complex and diverse, so the new monarch must act as a unifying force. However, any innovations are met with resistance from the conservative part of society. Thus, Charles III had a conflict with the Anglican Church. They had different views on how the coronation should be organized. The monarch wanted representatives of other faiths to take a more active part in the ceremony. He favored increased denominational diversity so that Muslims, Hindus, and Jews, along with Christians, could say their prayers during the ceremony in Westminster Abbey. This position confirms that he said 30 years ago that he wanted to be an advocate of all religions, not just Anglicanism. However, Anglican church leaders believe that there is no place for other religions at the coronation and tradition forbids non-Christians to say prayers during such a significant event. In turn, the coronation oath law requires Charles to declare that he is a Protestant believer and to pledge his support to the Anglican Protestant church. According to sources, it is being discussed that the king will hold a separate ceremony with the participation of representatives of other religions. At the same time, Iqbal Sakrani, founder of the Muslim Council of Britain, said he would be fine with a traditional ceremony, but the presence of other religious leaders will emphasize that the monarch represents all communities in the kingdom. The abbot of the Hindu temple in Leicester also agrees with this position. How the conflict between Charles and the Anglican Church will be resolved, we will find out as early as May 6. How do you think the coronation should be held? If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.